everyone, it's Baldrick here, and in today's episode, I'm going to be going over basically adding a water cooling radiator to my water cooling loop. So, as you can see, I've only really got one radiator. I'll show you. Top there, you can't see it too well, you can only see the fans. But I want to add another one because to hit those really high overclocks, it's actually li limiting my 3570k. Yes, I know it's an old CPU, but it still can overclock if you've got the right cooling. So this is the radiator I am adding. It is the, I'm pretty sure, XSPC ES240, it's something like that. And I've also got my EK compression fittings. Here they are. I'll see what they are. I'm pretty sure it's nickel. I know you shouldn't really mix them, but to be honest, it shouldn't really matter because they'll probably the best priced fittings I could get, all the others were pretty much rip-offs. So yeah, that's my current setup. Uh, I'll have a link to my previous video on creating it. As you've probably noticed, the footage is a lot better quality because I'm using a much better camera than my iPhone 5S's. I'm using some 4K camera that's got pretty good quality and a really good zoom, so I'll be able to zoom up really closely, I'll show you. Still zooming, still zooming. That way it's lost focus, but you can zoom really far so you can see every single detail of my water cooling setup. Anyway, I'll go over the process. So, as you can see, there is my plan. You can probably see it, that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna basically run my graphics card to my new radiator and then back up to my old radiator. So it's not too much of a change, but it will definitely impact my performance positively. I am back and this is the progress I've made so far. So I've basically got all the tubing done. I've connected my radiator over here. I haven't added the fans yet, but we're gonna go on top of that. I couldn't really do it to be a pull configuration unfortunately it's a push but I've got enough dust filters so it doesn't get dusty as you can maybe see there's like no dust inside those radiators there so I'm assuming the other radiator is going to be fine I'll update you with adding the liquid later basically finished my setup now so as you can see I've connected it to my second radiator and it hasn't really leaked anywhere to my knowledge right now I'm pretty confident with how I did my fittings but we'll have to wait and see I'm just letting some of the bubbles get out of the loop you can probably see them there there is a lot of bubbles I'm just letting them air out and come out the hole I've got here Unfortunately, I haven't incorporated a draining system, so to actually refill the loop is going to be a big pain. But it's doable, I just have to take out all the components. It's only once a year, so it's not that bad. Hi everyone, uh, currently this is how my PC is going. I've gotten everything ready and I'm about to test if it boots. By the way, I've done a few hours of leak testing. 
I've flushed out my radiators before I put them in, so it should be all good. And I haven't really had any leaks, so that's a good thing. Hopefully it boots, because I have touched my graphics card a fair bit. Same with my... I haven't really touched my CPU that much, but you never know. So yeah, that's radiator. I've, hopefully I don't need a fan controller, but we'll see whether I can control those fans to a good RPM, because I'm pretty sure the default is 2000, so on them about 1000 RPM so they're not loud, because that's what the top ones run at. So yeah, apart from my cables that I don't like too much, I'm pretty happy with my PC, and it probably will stay like this for a fairly long time since the 780 Ti is a pretty good graphics card. Anyway, I'll put you on to the next part of the video. Alright, so over here is my PC. It works really well. It doesn't get hot at all. The, I need to fix up my lighting a bit because obviously it's really light where my radiator is, but it gets really dark where my CPU is, so I need to light that area up. And it's harder to light up than you think because there's not too many areas. I can put a LED strip that looks decent. Anyway, it performs really well. I'm running the CPU at 4.8 gigahertz and the graphics card at almost 1300 megahertz. And it's a 780 Ti, so it would be getting pretty hot, but it isn't. So I'll show you the temps and everything, but I'll just see if I can show you the noise. I'll be quiet for a sec. So it's not too loud, obviously you can get quieter PCs, but I've lowered the RPM of a fans pretty low, so it shouldn't affect it too much. So yeah, it looks really nice when the fans are lit up, to be honest, I really like it. I wish my top fans lit up, but unfortunately they don't, so. The loop is fairly good, I guess this area here I want to improve a bit, it looks a bit messy, but can't really do too much about it. It performs really well and I'm happy. I've got a few bubbles in it still, but they're going to come out soon, so... Well, they're going to hit the top of a reservoir of the Russian Tech CPU block, so we'll wait for that to happen. I'm sure if I tilted it a bit, a few would come out. Anyway, I'll show you the CPU temps and graphics card temps when I'm playing Battlefield 4. So let's go. Alright, so that there is Battlefield 4 running, as you can see, I'm moving my mouse and it's all working, it's a still series sensor if you're wondering, and these are my temps, so as you can see, got, I'm running my 3570K at 4.8 GHz, and that temperature, it's hitting about the 70s when I play games, or high 60s, 70s so high 60s, so it's pretty good temps of air, it used to not be able to run this uh, high frequency on the processor before I added the second radiator, otherwise it would hit like 90 degrees with a graphics card. And then as you can see here, the graphics card is running at 49 degrees when overclocked, so it's at about 1.2 volts, so I've maxed out the voltage and yeah, it's 49 degrees, which is really good I'm really happy with that, especially the fact that the CPU is heavily overclocked and it's just great to be able to run these temps like, under, anything under 60 with a 780 Ti is great I'm sure you could get better temps with better water block, a better, more radiators, a more efficient graphics card like a 980, but I'm really happy with it, I'm going to be honest. So, as you can see, my FPS is, like, really high on Battlefield 4, I really love it, even though it's only test range, uh, I'm really satisfied with these frames per second, and I do not regret adding water cooling to my system, I'll probably do a video on what you should do water cooling. Anyway, thanks for watching this video, I really hope you enjoyed it, have a nice day.